Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the series where I reveal what is inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello, this is mold number 95. Welcome back to another reveal video. I pour this one up and it's got a large round hole. It's a yeah, it's a pretty medium sized piece. I tip it out. You can see it's got an inscription on the side, but I open it to reveal this this how cool it's a denim mug it's as if a pant leg has just been sitting upright and it's been turned into a mug so i take off that lip on the top and we're gonna ha we're gonna have a look see at this piece so here is the mold for anyone that's looking for it i have seen actually many uh, smaller versions of this piece so it's like a set i think but this is the bigger mug it's quite a a nice size so once it shrinks down in the kiln because it will shrink once it fires I think it's gonna be a nice coffee cup size so for this piece I wasn't really vibing with it initially you're probably thinking what what are you doing why are you carving off that gorgeous denim texture I'm not I'm not well I am I am I'm not I'm not getting rid of the denim texture but I was thinking how can I make these my own and you might have guessed already but I thought about this revival of restoring old jeans that have big rips in them by putting vintage little fabric patches on them so that we can keep wearing our favorite jeans and loving them for time to come and I also thought that this was a nice way that I could include my own style rather than it just sort of being because this would typically just be a glaze job like this would just be add some blue or add a nice color and make it a funky pair of jeans and that's cool so yeah this is my way of being a little bit more creative with this idea of a jean mug and making them patchwork jeans to make the patches I carved away that texture and then sort of made a defined line don't worry about the wobbliness of it the glaze is just gonna you know I cover that up that's fine I then watered down some under glazes and sort of mixy match them to give them this like washy look so that I can add some patterns over the top I didn't want it to be super strong so that the patterns will stand really nicely against it here's a floral little patch I did as well just to try it out it's pretty cute anyway I did these pinky green washes and then I also did these greeny blue washes and then I you know you know what I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna add some flowers <laughs> I'm gonna add some flowers and make these like little vintage floral patches that are filling up the ripped jeans. I don't actually have a lot to say this week but there's a lot of cute little floral paintings as I fill in these patches with detail. I did want to sort of touch on the fact that when I first opened the mold I wasn't really ex excited like I was excited by the fact that this is a creative idea I just wasn't excited by the fact that I couldn't put me into it and that that kind of sounds a bit strange but I feel like whenever I make something I want to make it with intention and purpose and inject a bit of my story and why I'm even making these pieces in into it and it just feels more so much more intent and more inspired that way so when I thought of the patchwork idea I actually got this little skip to my step when I started doing these and I really fell in love they feel really really lovely anyway I'm going to actually be a bit quiet this week I I don't know maybe you guys can share something that happened with you this week because I'm just having a chill week I'm just like yeah this is a cool design enjoy and I'll come back when it's time to glaze because I do have some things to say about the glazing.
Alrighty, here we go with the kind of glazing. I was thinking about the whole aesthetic of a denim jean and how it's got this sort of two-tone, two-tonal color of the threads running through, how you've got this darker color and this lighter color. Sometimes they're completely dark, but I wanted to try and highlight the texture of this piece. I have a feeling this mold is rather old because a lot of the texture is very, very subtle. Like you have to be very careful that you don't wipe away too much of this piece because you'll lose a lot of the detail. I'm, I'm thinking that it's a well-loved mold and it used to be a lot more raised in design. Regardless, it is still got a lot of texture that we can use and work with. So I decided to use a navy blue, which is sort of like a bright blue mix with the black to bring out that sort of denim navy wash color. I then sponged it away, but I didn't do it as aggressively as I usually do it. I sort of did it in this dabbing motion to sort of leave it really dark in those crevices to give it this sense of the fabric really sitting nicely. I also went back in with a sort of fine line sponge to get into the areas where it was a bit thick because I didn't want it to look evident that it was paint. I kind of want it to really look like it's the texture of the denim. I then was unsure where to go from here. I was just like, how do I make this look like denim once it's a finished piece? So I chose three blue colors that I think will give me a nice result. One's a darker blue, one's a light blue glaze, and then the other one, I'm just leaving the antique wash on it and just clear glazing it to see how that comes out. I only add about one to two coats because I just I just want to see how it sits on the piece and how it feels and it, whether it gives that fabric feel and I also just want to see how it sits and how you see that texture underneath whether that navy does anything whether the color is just wrong so I add those two glazes the other piece I just plain simple glaze it protect that beautiful antiquing wash I've done with that denim blue just yeah we're just seeing what which one gives us the best fabric looking aesthetic and then with the other pieces where I glaze them I went back over the patches with a clear gloss glaze with the brush just to make sure everything was glazed over so this is the one experimental part of this week is I'm trying to make a hard rock thing look like a soft fabricy thing so we will see how the results turn out and you'll see that you'll see them straight away but I had to wait for this <laughs> This piece is actually quite tall, so I also know that I'm gonna have to do two separate firings. I've got five mugs in total. I've only done one of the clear glaze and then two of the other ones. I probably should have done an extra experiment. I don't know. I, I just didn't think of that. I was just like, oh, if, if this one works out, I want two of them. Anyway, I popped them in the kiln. You can see here, my, my tiny kiln. My tiny kiln, it's like almost touching the roof on one side. So I strategically packed the first kiln load in. Here is the finished results of the first kiln load. I did one of each. Here is that antique wash. Here we have the light blue, which was a shock. <laughs> Okay, all right, we're not gonna be blue, that's fine. And then here is our last blue one as well. I popped in another kiln load and well, they're gonna look about the same. They're gonna look about the same. There's gonna be variation in how they look, but here, here they are, here they are. Now let's, let's do a dive into this. Let's have a look at this glaze. First off, I'm just gonna put it out there that I actually don't have a favorite. They all have a real nice beauty to them. I didn't expect the results on that glaze, but I, I like them all. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the antique wash. I really love this, this has so much potential. I think that if I rubbed away less or maybe did it tonal, so had like two colors or even painted it light blue first and then did that navy blue antique wash, it would be glorious. I do love that it's sort of more of like a white jean look. It's really cute. I love the patches too. The patches, I have like no comment. I love them, they're great. I'm not even gonna address that. We, They're just amazing, they don't need anything more. The other glaze is the dark blue glaze. This is popping. This is so bright. It's actually too thick, so you lose a lot of that texture. It defeats the purpose of the piece when you lose that texture. It's just so intentional that it's there to just wash it away is a bit of a shame. It still looks great. Like if you didn't know that the texture was there, you'd be like, oh, cute jean mug. The last piece, I'm a bit disappointed because it was meant to be the blue that you see inside the mug. It was meant to be on the outside, but that's just the way that glaze works. I didn't 
didn't realize it would change so much. I've used it a heap of times and it's never gone that greeny color, but on this piece it, it supposedly did. I worry that if I add another coat next time that it will be too thick like the dark blue and then you lose that texture again. I kind of like it though. It wasn't what I intended, which is why I'm disappointed but it's got a cool thing on its own because it's kind of like a greeny blue jean, like a really cool hip pair, you know? And so I'm, I'm happy about that in a way, just disappointed that it didn't come out the way I was intending it to. These are all so, so great. I would love to know what you think of this mold and maybe how you would paint them. Uh, did you like my patches? I hope you liked my patches. Anyway, I hope you loved it. Thank you so much for watching another reveal video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm just reminding you because you know it helps. And here is your sneak peek for the next reveal.